Listen closely. You are not responsible for everything that has happened to you in your life. You're not responsible for everything because there are broken people in our world. There are hurt people in our world and hurt people hurt people. There are dysfunctional people that we interact with and their dysfunction spills over on you from time to time, right? And you become the person who gets hurt by the dysfunction of other people around you. There are actually evil people in the world too that do harm to others. And so you are not responsible. You are not responsible for everything that has happened to you. A lot of people try to feel responsible for the bad things that happened to them. And you're not responsible for every bad thing that's happened in your life. But you are responsible responsible for how you respond to it. You're not responsible for everything that's happened, but you are responsible for how what you choose to do in response to it. And there are plenty of people that we can blame for our pain. There are many reasons that we can seek revenge toward others when they've hurt us in certain ways. But we must remember that blame and anger and resentment never fixes anything. It never cures any problem. It never makes anything any better When you're angry at the people who've hurt you, when you're bitter toward the people that have hurt you, when you resent and carry grudges toward the people that hurt you, you're not making your life better. You're making your life worse. It's been said that when you live in anger toward people who hurt you and bitterness and revenge toward them, it's like drinking poison and expecting somebody else to die. And that's exactly what we do. We take in the poison ourselves. We're wishing pain on somebody else, but it's actually destroying us. I've made a decision in my life, and I hope that you'll make this this decision as well. I am not going to drink that poison. Amen? I'm not going to be the prisoner of what other people have done to me. I'm not going to let me, I'm I'm not going to let my life be put in a prison by the pain that other people cause in my life. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to let poison from other people's bad behavior get into me and destroy my life. Why? Because I want a life that works. If they choose to have a life that doesn't work, that's their choice. But I'm going to choose to have a life that works. And I realize something. If I take it into me, what I'm doing is I'm actually allowing their dysfunction to become a part of my dysfunction. And they end up controlling my life by the anger that I carry inside of me toward them. There's some of us here today that right now there are people that... Years ago, you haven't seen them for 5 or 10 or 15, some 20, 25 years. They're still controlling you right now. Because you're mad at them, you're frustrated at them, you're angry about something they did to you, and from time to time their name comes up in your mind, you're still mad at them, and 20, 25 years later they're still controlling your life because they have injected you not just with something they did to you, but the poison you took inside you because you haven't learned how to deal with it properly.